battle of Nitro Funny Car at the Northwest Nationals. Tire smoke for Paul Lee and a wind light for Austin Prock. Man, this kid is just unbelievable. A 69 reaction time. His brother Thomas pumps his fist. 387.5 at 334.57 miles an hour. It is a bulldozer, man. That is a bulldozer. For a rookie funny car driver, he is getting all too accustomed this whole procedure down here as he claims his fourth funny car title. You know, Austin Proc, you, you and I talked back in the pits, and you said, I've been 60, 70 on the tree, and you said, I just need to do my job. You did just that. You won 69. You trusted the car, and you trusted your dad and your brother to give you that Wally here today. How good is it to know that you've got those two men in your corner each and every time you stage up? Well, it's amazing, man. Uh, there's nothing better than racing for family and racing for John Forsa. Uh, we didn't just win today. We doubled up with John Force again here in Seattle. Uh, he told me before I got in here, he said, uh, hold the fort down for me, and we did just that. So just an amazing day, another great day for this Cornwell Tools Chevrolet Camaro SS. I mean, uh, this year's just been unreal, man. I, I can't even, like, put into words uh, all the success that we've had. It's just been a blur, and uh, I've just been hanging on. and. Uh, I wasn't like leaving that great all weekend, but I sure was consistent. I was 67, 67, 69, 69. So uh, all stayed shallow and uh, man, uh, wow! <laughs> They leave. Van Zandt 17. Gage Herrera is 025. He's quicker on the track. It looks like he might have enough. And at the finish line, strike it's Chase Van Zandt. The streak ends in 11 races. 672 at 201 miles an hour by 43 thousandths of a second. And that is how you get a first <laughs> career win. Well, Chase Van Sant has in his hand what he has longed for, want for all too long. You did what seemed to be unthinkable here today. You beat that unstoppable force in Gage Herrera. Not only did you beat him on the track, but on the tree. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's unreal. You know, uh, Jerry Savoy told me I was going to win one of these things, and he said when I did, I was going to cry. So, Jerry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fighting it back, but I'm not going to do it. Um, man, I can't thank this team enough, the whole White Alligator Racing team. Um, I mean, Jerry for giving me the opportunity, Tim Kalungian for allowing me to be out here and all his hard work. Keith Nichols, um, man, you're the man. Um, you absolutely work his butt off to make this motorcycle go fast. Um, man, my dad, Trick Tools, Transfluid, Ready Parts. Um, man, JC Speed Shop, this is just unreal. I can't believe it. Congratulations, let it soak in. Thank you. Green lights on both sides of the tree. A 10 reaction time for Jake Coughlin. And at the finish line stripe, it is a win for Jake Coughlin. A third on the season, 653-6 at 209. Marginally outrunning the 654-1. But this is a guy who now for the 68th time has won in pro stock with a 10 reaction time. It is all smiles down here for the natural. Your pro stock winner to the 68th of your career, Jake Coughlin. You grew up in a racing family where this is what you guys did. Did you ever dream you were holding 68 of those? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, in total, uh, counting the sportsman wins, it's uh, 87, I think, this week, which is uh, unfathomable. Honestly, my goal as a kid growing up was to try and win one national event in each of the years I competed. And, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate, very blessed. Uh, my father, Jeg, and everyone at Jeg's. And over the years, uh, we've had so many great wins. But uh, fast forward to today, how about this elite team? Uh, and my hot rod really came around now uh, this weekend. We changed some things out on Saturday, and uh, the car started accelerating really well. And uh, these last two rounds, this thing was on a rail, and it felt great. Uh, I didn't even see my wind light come on there, so I was a little bit bummed. Uh, you know, the next uh, 1,500 feet as I was pulling off, I was excited but also bummed. But, uh, you know, congrats to the whole team, man. It's uh, everyone at SCAG Power Equipment, uh, Outlaw Beer, Jegs, JHG. Uh, man, we love y'all. Uh, hello to my family back home in Ohio. I love you. Miss you. Ryan Howe with the better reaction time. Oh, the shoots come out, and Madison Gordon goes 549, 268 miles per hour. That is NHRA history. Madison Gordon becomes the 100th woman to win a national event 
in NHRA competition, and she does it with a 545 9 at 268 miles per hour. A historic run as Madison Gordon is a winner in alcohol funny car competition. Maddie Gordon following in her father's footsteps quite literally. This was the place where Doug Gordon got his first victory and you just did the same thing. You're holding your first NHRA national event, Wally. What is it going through your mind in terms of the emotions? I mean, everything, you know, it's, this is, this is everything right here. You know, I've been struggling on the tree and, you know, it, it's just so hard to drive these cars and, you know, people, everyone taking a chance on me, my family, the sponsors, everybody, you know, my sister's not here. She's at every single race. So I really miss her. Cam did a great job filling in, but I mean, this is, this is what dreams are made of a hundred percent. And, and I, I could not be happier. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Gary Denson wants to see if he can cool off that Toyota. Caps off the line for his pedal fest. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, a big boomer for Ron Caps and Gary Denson gets the win. 497, 200 miles per hour, and Ron Cap's car launches the body down there at 1,000 feet and has come to a rest in the wall, the left lane, just past the 1320 mark. Gary Denson gets the win of 497, 4, 200 miles per hour, a wild round one pedal fest, and the safety safari rolls, and all eyes turn to that Napa machine, and Ron Caps, he is out of the car, hands waving in the air, and Ron Caps walks away from the remains of that Toyota GR Supra. And it did. He was out first. He was ahead of Langdon at the finish line stripe. It is Steve Torrance for the first time in a calendar year. A 396 to an engine expiring 417 for Sean Langdon. Steve Torrance has finally broken through again. <laughs> For well, the last time, four-time world champion Steve Torrance won. He was only a father of one. Now you're a father of two. It has been a full calendar year. I couldn't even tell by the celebration that you were excited. Talk about that run for you because you had a lot going on in that car. Man, I'll tell you what. You know, you take these things for granted when you get them pretty often. And uh, we're taking this one home to my new baby girl, my wife's birthday. It, we've been a while. Hell, I'm out of breath. I didn't do nothing but hit the gas like three times. Sean Langdon, Khalid Air. Those guys been bad at the bone. I told you earlier, I was trying to take him out all day. But uh, these Capco boys, Redline Oil, Toyota, Mac Tools, we don't have a lot of partners, but the ones we do, we think highly of, and they're the best. This is pretty cool, man. One year to the date. I was kind of thinking we wasn't going to be able to win one of these for a while. And Richard Hogan, Bobby, sometimes us torrents are hard to deal with, but them guys handle us pretty good, and thank you guys. How about all those guys at home? from Capco that are keeping us out here. We appreciate y'all.